bit. Ooh, it's nice and warm in here. I said it's nice and warm in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Melka. So, Sue wants to, uh, I guess, the fundraiser she's doing for, for fences for you? Okay. Sue's fundraiser's for fences for you? I'll come grab my stuff, get it out of your way. I don't know why you wrote that stuff on there yesterday. Well, it's the what stuff? On my Facebook page? Because that's how I feel. That you'll tell them later? What? What's on your mind? You know what you wrote. Don't play me. Yeah, I'm not playing a game. Okay, you know what you wrote. I, read the, I can read between the lines as good as anybody else. Okay? You toss me away. Because I stood up for your animals. And then I came in because... You, you have nothing to stand up for. They weren't in there chasing the sheep. They were along the fence. It's when your it, attitude. It's the way you treated another human being. Okay? I, I, I at first was asking her nicely, can you, like, do take care of your dogs? Like, I'm trying to feed the animals. And I said that over and over and over. Anyway, and then when you came in with the shoes? I was pissed when I seen my shoes because earlier the, the earlier that day, the ne the day before, did you not say the way she treated this place? You d you admitted that she walked and I in. I told her, I said, from now on, you ha I'm going to put towels out there and you have to wipe your feet when they come in. Yeah, it's annoying. Sure. But. I just bought those shoes. They were $50 shoes. I bought them for, so I could have them for inside here. I come back the next day and they're totally trampled. You should have trampled. left them in your room or you should have left them in your car. You know, you know that, that portion. I, had them, off, I had them off to the side. It wasn't like they were laying out in the middle, though. That's not the issue, is it? It's not the shoes. Come that on. was the shoes. That was my issue. I came back because I said, you know what, whatever. And then she totally did a flip out here. Oh, you're not to talk to me. you got to talk to Nicole. Right, because she called me and I told her to, if you had anything to say to her, to call me. And then I came in saying that, look, I told her dogs not to go near the fence and you flipped on me. The dogs, there's always dogs along the fence. They never saw sheep. The sheep, uh, <clears throat> listen, you know, we don't just have sheep and goats. No kidding. The dogs but you, were curious, that's all. They were barking and ch chasing them as they were trying to eat. That's the point I was trying to make. Yeah. They were well, the they were scaring the crowd, but I know the food wasn't going anywhere, but after if last... If I was to make a big issue with all the small happenings, nothing would ever get done. You know, so the dogs are going back and forth. It's not a big deal. They're but not it, in there chasing No, them. but they were chasing them at the fence, away from their food. And after what they went through last year with the stupid predators... You know, all of a sudden have, you know, I'm looking out for the animals. That's all I was doing. And I asked her up to 10 times to please, you know, get your dogs under control. Just tell them to stop. Say stay, anything. And then she would say, well, that is up to me and you to do because they wouldn't listen to her. And I said, well. Yeah, I told her that too, that she I, has to. And I said, well, Nicole dog. can't come out here and tell your dogs what to do. Yeah. Nor will Nicole come out here and tell your dogs what to do. You know, and and and, and, and you posted that picture of this whole area here because obviously you find it a terrible mess. No, I don't. Why would you put put that picture of her on there right after you wrote what you wrote that I have to get somebody has to get? Uh, that's a picture of Christy. Christy. Yeah. What? That was here visiting. That was one of my volunteer pictures. That was Chrissy. Chris, the the girl with that does the farm. Yeah. I put that a picture on there for I, her. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing wrong right with after, it. Right after. There is no, 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 there is nothing I wrong with you it. you know, and you will be. I was pissed off when I put that other thing on. And then I've seen that picture of going through my pictures, and I cut it out for Christy. It was good timing. Well, there's nothing wrong with the picture. There's nothing in the background bad. There's, it doesn't show the floor. It doesn't show anything what bad. What you wrote was a threat. What I wrote was a threat. What you wrote. That how, was it, how was it a threat? When you said that I'll, be, I'll let you all know later, and when I do, you'll all be blown away or whatever. Okay? And I don't know anything else that happened in your life except this. 
that why you would have said something like that. Actually, what you didn't know is I've been fighting with Nadine all freaking week. We're all at the verge of breaking up. This whole matter has pretty much put us right over the freaking because, edge. Because of what? Because of what? I'm coming home totally blown away with what happened here, and then I get an email in the middle of the night not to come in well, after I've already loaded the car up with all the stuff that her store supplies you. And I happened to just check my email I, waiting. I knew, Rob. Please. You could have I'm called me. I'm not stupid. Okay? I knew, okay, that it's very volatile between her and you. Very volatile. Okay? And my fear was that you would come and something would blow up again. Okay? So, it didn't start off very well. And then, well, look at you state, it stated to Nadine that night about when she said, well, what happens if this happens in front of the volunteers? And you said you didn't care. That whatever happens, happens. That even if what, it gets... That the dogs are running past the sheep? And that her being the, is stating that she's a man hater and everything else. Oh, yeah. No, and I that if, I and that if that, after her. I know, but you told Nadine that night right in front of me that you, you didn't care if she's whatever she said she says and if it chases away volunteers so what and if the volunteers don't donate so what that, that was your were your words well then go put it on Facebook why would I put it on Facebook why would I run and put it on Facebook I was taken back by I didn't worry eh? and I wasn't no one else but you was taken back uh, Nadine was really hurt by it because how much does she do to try and raise money for you all the fundraisers you know she does and everything else. You know what? I don't want to go there. Oops. You know what? I don't want to go there. Okay? She works I, her I, butt I, off. I, and I appreciate it. And I tell her. I know. Okay, but, but, so what am I supposed to do? Well, what am I? You told me how mad they were over there that I, at me from the store. How it, mad the boss, the big boss was. That was really nice too. Well, I was telling you the truth because we had the because they dumped the stuff into the garbage. They sit there and they have their employees take the stuff apart, put it in the bins for you. This isn't something that just and, happens and at I the told end of the day. You why it wasn't a good time to come? I said. Let some time go but, by. But you didn't, I know, but you didn't tell me. I wrote it to you. I didn't check my email oh, the night well, before. I read it to you. I've already got my email. I've checked it later. I checked it after the car was loaded up right in front of them. But, oh, I'm not coming. That's why. And then I tried calling you when I noticed that you were on Facebook. The moment you posted something, I called you. So you're right there and you didn't answer I was the phone. Gone. Okay, well, the thing is, I called, and then when you posted something again immediately, I called that that second, and oh, the phone. Okay. And that's why I said, well, what I am I supposed to do you, with it? I, I, you must have known that it was very volatile for you to come right at that time. Come hell or high water. But I already had the car loaded it's before I read your email. Before I read your email. You know? I'm fed up. I'm so fed up. Of the same thing going around and around and around, this this control issue of one and the other. Get along. It wasn't, but it wasn't a control issue. Oh, it was this, awful how you treated her. I don't care what you say, Bob. Hey, after what the phone call she sent me, first of all, the hey, certain the part that was a, a terrible, and I told her don't ever do that ever. Is saying that she hated men. If she hates men, that's her thing. Go ahead, but don't. Don't use that here, okay? Don't ever use that here. But I, I said, I understand. I, people hate men. Men hate women the way the world is. But you know what? I wasn't. But I didn't agree. But I, when, when I was outside, the thing between me and her wasn't even a thing between me and her. I was asking her to look after her dog. That's all I said. So, she, and then I even gave her pointers about some of the animals, what to watch out for, for her own self and for her animals. So that way... You know, she could keep them safe. Like the little Charlotte will go and attack your dog in a, in a playful way, but your dogs might not understand that. I've made that to her. That wasn't me being, it's like trying to be a bully or anything like that. And then I also took her and I showed her the prominent pigs and I said, look, we don't let our dogs go into here because they would probably rip them apart. 
So I'm just, I'm telling you now, please make sure you don't f let your dogs go in there because they will probably get torn apart. That's that's good. what I was doing out there. And it wasn't until the, about the 10th time that I said, look, you, when I was trying to keep them back from the thing. And then finally, when they were going after Gorillas because he went too close to the vehicle, they were barking at him. And I said, just let him pass. You know, he's just checking it out. And I always said, was, look, you got to just look after your dogs. That that's not our job to do. That's yours. Yeah, I told her that. That's not barking orders. That's looking out anyway, for. The... I just can't take stress anymore. Okay, I just can't. Uh, you know, yesterday I had a horse go down, and I was totally blown away. Is it dead? No, no, oh. it was fine. <clears throat> it was fine, but uh, it threw me into a spin again. Um, the horse is fine. Uh, it was lying down, and if they lie too long with their head down, they're sleeping, okay? And they very rarely do that. And when they do, they bloat, the, the gases. Yeah, you, you said that. Yeah, so when I saw her lying there, I went totally, I said, fuck, do I, no, no, I can't go through this. So I ran out, and uh, I gave her a couple of taps, and I said, you got to get up, you get up. She got up, she shook, she said, what the hell's wrong with you? I was just having a nap. But, uh, so I stayed with her for quite some time. I gave her hay, she started to eat, she was fine. You know, but it was something I'd seen a hundred times. But why did it, because I'm under so much stress that I totally lost it because a horse is lying down. They'll usually lie with their head turned on their shoulder or something. Flat out. They do, but not for long. You were you were under stress though, waiting for her to show up. It was stressing you out, not knowing what was, what who she was, and everything else. You've been under stress since last week, coming into this week, as the whole trip as she was slowly coming across. You could see your stress level building and building, and I was the one here helping you through that, watching you deteriorate. And then when the shit hit the fan, which wasn't even really the shit hit the fan, I came in and said, here, I guess these are your, here's a pair of shoes for you. Oh, you're not allowed to talk to me, blah, 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 <laughs> you know. Well, fine. Well, f you know, whatever. I won't talk to you. I'll just, i got to go okay. feed the you animals. Know, you know something I have rarely done is chastise someone in front of other people. If I have something to say to somebody, I pull them aside. I very rarely How am I supposed to pull her aside? She won't. She Why hates. couldn't you have raised it the next time you came? The shoe issue. Why do it in front of of, of Marlene? Because it's Marlene. It's yeah. No, it's Marlene. You know, it's it's not just. And it Marlene. wasn't a big issue. It was like it was so rude. It was so brutal. The way you showed them to her and you said, "Here, they're yours. Look at the mud on them." And then she said, "Thank you." And then you threw them on the floor. And you turned around and you walked up. That was really nice. You know? Hey. That's Don't forget, I, I'm the one that barks orders, she says. That's all I do, is bark orders. So what do you expect my attitude to be like to, uh, when I come with a clear head when I got here yet, that day? I, I was like, you know what? Screw her. I don't give a fuck. As long as her dogs ain't bothering the animals. But then you made it clear that it doesn't matter if they bother them or not. That dogs no, will be that, that it doesn't matter to you if they're no, bothering them. Then they fine. They have to get used to other animals, just like the animals. They've never seen them before. Exactly. That's what you said. So I said, you know what? Since it's they're Nicole's animals, okay. I said to myself, they're Nicole's animals. That's what you tell me. They're your animals. So you, you know, you're t the one that's responsible if anything happens. They what? have to learn yeah. that there are things that yeah they have to run away from. Maybe it's good training. I don't know. It, but it was yeah. like the monk is like two feet deep at, where that they were running into, and they could have injured them. That's my my thing. If you, they had been in there chasing them, I would have had a fit. Yeah, but, okay. but my fit. Running along the side of the fence, but, barking at them. Yeah, I know. It's not but the first time the I, dogs I, have barked I know, at them. but it's just that the muck was really, really bad where they were running through, and with some of them being as old as they are, my only fear was great, we're going to have a vet here today. Because it, they kept, because it was right at feeding time. I just got the feed out there, and every time they went near it, that's when they kept doing it. And, then, and like I said, it went up to ten times. Like, and, and then at the end, I said, "Look, you got to look after your dogs. These animals are trying to eat." 
And I didn't scream at her. I didn't raise my voice. I didn't even get really all that stern. And then I even petted her dogs when I was done. And then the next day when I was talking to him about doing it again, I was actually petting the dogs. And, and then I kind of gushered uh, Gryas away from because he was going towards where she had gas cans sitting on the ground. Because he was rubbing himself on them. And I was just like, Gryas, get out of here. Because that's dangerous, you know. You can't have gas cans laying on the ground with full thousand pound pigs but i didn't even say anything to her about that i didn't even come in and tell you about it all i did you know i did i lifted him up off the ground and i put him on her tailgate for her tell me later no i didn't yeah, you did. about the gas cans oh no 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 about the, the her dogs chasing them. yeah i came in and told you that they were chasing them again and that this time am i allowed to give them any like and that's when you flipped on me. And all I was saying, I was asking permission, am I allowed to, you know, I usher them away? Because I don't know, they're... Oh, come on. Oh, Dean. Well, that's, that's all this big issue is over. And then I get pushed out. Because I all I do and you don't listen, you only hear what you want to hear, and that's convenient. Okay, I said we're gonna need some time out. Okay, you're gonna ha before you come back because I found it personally an attack that day with your shoes. Okay, that was oh, but compared to the attack she did on to me on the phone, well, I don't know what she did to you on the phone, you know. I mean, I didn't hear it. You know, but what I saw was not nice, not nice at all. Don't want aggression, don't need aggression. You know, you don't use, you, you don't have to use brute force to get a message through. But that wasn't brute force, that was well, me telling her that the hair, you got a pair. Brute force uh, emotionally, by holding them up and saying, here, they're yours. Hey, after what I dealt with her the day before and her phone call, it's like I didn't throw them at her. Well, anyway, you seem to think that you're totally right. And, you know, I don't seem to I, think I'm I, totally right. I'm just making a point. Okay, you made your point. <clears throat> what do you want me to say? I don't know what to say. I'm out of here. I know that. I can't, you don't want me here at the same time as she is. I don't know how long she's going to be here. So, Sarah, Sarah. Now, do you want Nadine on the property or you don't want her back? or? I have nothing against you and Nadine. Okay, I just feel that as long as she's there, you're going to be looking to, for something to go wrong, and I can't handle the stress. I'm, I'm looking okay, for some... enough stress in my life to last me a lifetime. There's enough shit wrong with this farm to deal with without looking for stuff that has to do with her. You want me to go tell her to leave? I never. I told you no to not tell her to leave. This is your you said farm. There's enough going on on this farm that have to be done without having to deal with her. No, I just enough simply. I just simply said there's enough shit on this farm that needs to be fixed, without me going out looking for shit that she's doing. That's what I just said. Not that I have to she deal with her. She wasn't doing much wrong between you and I. I never said she wasn't animals. doing it. I just simply said she st wasn't looking after her animals. That was my only issue, and that I was trying to tell her that, look, you can't let your dogs do that. That's not fair to these animals after what they went through last year. I just don't think it's a good time right now. Well, then it's not a good time. I won't be here. I'm not going to disagree with you. I'm not going to sit and, and fight you on it. You know what? So uh, I won't be here. She will. She can feed the animals. I won't, you know. This was my home. This was my everything. She came into the picture. The I two days, I'm really, gone. What it, I think if you had never done, written what you wrote, and I read between lines and I'm good at it, okay, because I've dealt with people before, before you, and I saw it, and I read it, that I'm whatever. That's how I saw it. And Nadine went in and, and wrote something really, really uh, similar to what you wrote. Actually, Nadine wrote what she wrote because of what you said the other night to her about the volunteers and about all the, you know, and it doesn't so matter it about them. It was about me. I was pretty sure it was. And then when you wrote, wait, wait till, I don't know, wait till I am able to write about everything that 
went on, uh, you're going to be blown away. So you're going to play the same game as everybody else, eh? It's not a game. And blow away Tejas, right? Blow away Tejas. If I wanted to blow away Tejas, mm -hmm. why wouldn't I just talk about, like, taking the turkeys out in the middle of nowhere? Why would I not just post that? Why would I have not have stated on there? Go and post it. Why would I? Go what am I going to get from it? What, you know, I could also post about the three duck or the two ducks that we had in there for three weeks with broken legs. You know, there's so oh, much. There we go. I could have went on and on oh, and on yeah, about certain right. things, but I'm not. But I, did you see me ever posting stuff like that? I'm the one that's been always out there. When somebody's putting you down, I'm the one coming to the, and standing up against them. From those rick idiots to anybody. I've been the pit bull that has been gu guarding your reputation from everybody. When people put you down, I don't let them happen to say it. I go right after them. You've seen the video of me going right after them about it. And the message I left you was that it's not a good time. I'm not going to toss her out on her butt because she let her dogs run loose. I wasn't asking you to toss her out on her butt. I'm saying that it's... All I, all I stated was get her to look after her animals and not try and put the blame on the, for the be that it's up to us to do it. Like, how is that right? If, there, yeah, if there's enough stuff for you and I to I deal with in our life, then I'm worried about what her that. dogs I are doing. You don't want to look bad in front of your dogs. So you feel that we should do it. It's wrong. You are the one who has to discipline your own. Because what happens if there's something, like say if they manage to do get in with the parliaments, then they don't listen to her commands, and one of them got ripped apart. Because we're not there to yell at them and to get them out. Oh, those parliaments would tear them. Exactly. And I told her that. That any animal that gets in there with them, they're territorial. You know, and if the dogs don't listen to her, you know, I think being on a on, on a sanctuary where there's animals that could harm your your dogs if your dogs don't listen, would be a good time to start getting them to listen, because for their own safety. You know, it wasn't a personal attack on her, but she turned it into a personal attack on me by because all I was trying to do was warn her about what could happen to her dogs. Okay. And that's all what that's all it was. That was very wrong was I hate men. That was very wrong. Which which made no sense at all to okay, you hate men, but you sure as hell had enough conversation with me for two weeks before you came, talking to me all the time about every little thing and everything, like blah 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 while you were driving along the past time, like an hour here, an hour there, to all of a sudden because I'm warning you about what your dogs are doing, all of a sudden I hate men, blah blah blah. That's why I uh, I, I prefer that people come to me. Not that I'm a control freak. Far from it. I am not a control freak. But I could have told you that there was nothing, no harm with her dogs running back and forth there. Okay? There wasn't. Sure, they ran, but they came back. You know, they've seen dogs before. People have come with dogs before. Yeah. If you know, It would have been different if the, if the conditions in that yard weren't as bad as they were. I was there when they were running. I witnessed what they were running through and how it was affecting them. That's why I got upset. What's the fact that the dogs are just barking at the animals? What, it's full of, of hay all over the No, where they were... Well, I, when, when I, were eating, so yeah, when, when I feed them, it's right here beside the big yeah. pile of muck out there. It's right along the fence there. And that's where the, I was feeding them. Mm -hmm. And it's, when, they, when the dogs came at the charge defense, the they ran straight into the deep muck. And that's the point I was trying to make. That they were, and some of those old animals, you know, their knees can't take that. It wasn't, and, and you know what? I could have went right after and said, look, you're an idiot or anything like that, but I didn't, you know? 
I could have went after her because she had her called her an idiot before her van being stuck. Instead, no, I had the, I I pulled it out for her. You want to talk? Um, in a few minutes. Like um, like I'm um, um, she make me out to be the bad guy, but you know what? I was looking out for the well being of her animals and the animals hey, here. That was all alleged before, but when you came in and you uh did that thing with the shoes, it didn't buy you well. Well, you don't if, give people shit just like you don't do it to kids either. Like when I was a kid, my mother would pull us aside to give us shit. She wouldn't do it in front of people, you know. Um, it's oh, you're gonna have to help yourself. Yeah, well, sit down. You're gonna get dizzy again. Um, like so. Uh, like, I had a list of chores to just do that day, and I ended up going home to stay with Bronx. Like, Hades, we had to rush to the hospital, or his urine today, because he's peeing blood. Today? Yeah. Now he's, he's got a, some kind of an infection now. Did they see crystals in his urine? Um, he's on an antibiotic now. Because he was peeing pure blood. Was it called a... Uh, it's a big horse tablet. You're kidding. Yeah, like... Oh. You don't know the name of it? Because that's what he's on. I have no idea. He had the it's, same it's a, it's a, I never, there was Nadine nothing. took time off work today, and we, we had to rush the urine, because they didn't want to bring him in to stress him out. So oh. we had to collect his urine for why he peed, and it was pure bread. Oh, my God. Maybe yeah. that's why he's aggressive. He's had no. this infection. Once it comes to blood, it's been going on for some time. You did the right thing. As soon as you saw it, you took him in. But maybe that's been, he's been in pain that long, and you don't know. We, uh, don't, we know. don't They can't talk. But he's been so playful and everything Where else. Where is so. he now? He's at home. We didn't end up taking him to the hospital. We took his, they said to just bring his Good. urine in. Good. We just bring the urine in. Let's they tested it. it, and then Good. we got meds. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, so now he's home on poor meds, and I've been boy. looking after him, so. Because you brought them, you brought them both here. They've been here together for yeah. a little. He didn't have any issues. It was just us. Remember, he hasn't been around anybody else. No. Poor little guy. You kind of feel for the underdog, eh? Yep. Well, he's in good hands. He's in good hands. You guys... Don't wait. You don't drag. You do it right away. You know. So. My help is that. And everybody's just, you know, like that. Boom. But anyways, I got the the pictures for Sue, and uh, and it was so I I didn't know what kind of pictures of fences she wants. So I got pictures of every fence you have. <laughs> I uh, there's that big demo in Montreal too tomorrow, and uh, a friend of mine called to ask if I was going, and I said I'm twirling like a whirling. Bird. I thought you had to go to that thing up at the f thing tomorrow for the parrot lady. That was today. Oh.